What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the L and J Shave Crepe. We're back at it again. It's been quite a long time. Uh, it's been about, let me see here. I'll tell you guys exactly. It's been about 13 days since my last shave. And every shave before this has been on camera except for the very, very beginning, which was over a year ago now. Uh, the, the brother, Evil Niffy, he, uh, he tagged uh, us, uh, Lucy and myself, on, um, I believe it was, let me see here. My first good shaving soap. Somehow I just remember which one that was. And uh, I bought this from uh, the West Covina Shave Shop. Uh, it's called Razor Blades and More. Um, and it's called Parma. Show it to you guys right there. This was my very first good soap that I've ever bought. Like this was, this is the one that got me started on like the loads of shave soaps I have now. So this is it right here. And this, show it to you though is ha, has been used as you guys can see here i've used it a lot i'm using it in a long time due to having so many other shave soaps this has a cologne smell to it which i really do enjoy and if i was to do a collaboration with them um, other uh artisans i definitely wanted to start with a like a cologne type smell added into that because this is what drew me into this and that that smell still resonates to today so we're going to be using that. That That is definitely my first good shave soap. I was going to bring out the other things I used for my very first shaves. Um, but we'll just go with what I have now. My, minus this. Because this, this is what we're using today. Uh, I bought a uh, shave brush from West Coast Shaving. Comes in this little tube here. Uh, I forget what it's called. But it's this one right here. It is a badger knot. Very cool, and it comes with this little coin on the back. So you guys can see that, yeah. And we're gonna use that. Also, we're using an aftershave that I bought from Honey. Where was the place at? Where we bought this? Um, Surf City Shave Shop. Surf City Shave Shop in Huntington Beach, Mirasol, or Mirasol. So we're going to use that today for an aftershave. And then I might even just add a little bit of my favorite Sauvage at the very end on my shirt or something. I love this. Now, uh, for the pre-shave, which I am going to use today, is uh, Ariana and Evan's pre-shave, sir. Okay? Something I will say for the razor, it's called the Name Taker. We're going to be using that from, it's from a, a Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. It's right here. It's short. It's a chubby little safety razor which i like very much it's an open comb the blades already loaded and i will disclose what blade i'm using and it's also from paa if you guys can see a little emblem there okay it is called the strange let super sharps oh, i'm sorry platinum strange let super sharps uh, paa just came up with these and I believe they're the first artisans to come up with uh, their own blades. Hi, Mom! <laughs> Anyways, while my mom's talking in the background, I also want to feature something I got at a, at a party uh, with my, uh, my brother. He introduced me to Portofino. It is a cigar. Very long, mind you. And <laughs> it smells awesome. Um, he gave me one. To take home. See this? Thing's awesome. It tastes good. I'm not really a cigar guy, but this one, it's very good. I like it a lot. It tastes good too. I'm not a big smoker either, so, but this is still gnarly. So we're going to be using two things from PAA. The Name Taker and the Platinum Strange Let's Super Sharps. Okay? I'll open comb. So we're going to go, we're going to go for it. And I'm comparing this to the feather blades which i love to use okay so let's get to the shave i've already loaded the captain's choice shave bowl with enough soap this time because uh from my first few experiences with this soap parma it's a it's a thirsty one it likes it likes water a lot of water so i'm gonna place this in here right now and get that soaking it's the first time i'm ever using this brush so this is going to be awesome. If you guys didn't already notice, I'm wearing my awesome custom shirt. I wish I knew the artist who made that picture, but I don't know. 
But if you ever see this, let me know. I'd love to give you credit and possibly have you make another one just like this. I mean, I had somebody help me print this onto a shirt. Long story. <laughs> but let's get to uh, lathering it up. Oh man, for sure. Still needs more water. See, babe, that's how this one is. It needs water. Ever since we, we, we bought this one, it was always the one that was the thirstiest. Okay. Mm -hmm. We always had to get the mixture just right. I <laughs> still don't like that. But I love the smell. You can smell it, huh, babe? Oh, I can smell it all over here. Yeah, that, that smells amazing. Let's add more. This is one of them thirsty soaps. So I'm already pre-shaved. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I put on the pre-shaved serum. So we're good there. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. See that? It takes, a, it takes a cool minute with this one. But man, is it worth it. And when I first got this soap, I didn't know how to lather like this. So. <laughs> there was a lot of trial and error. So thank you, Evil Niffy, for tagging me in your video. We're handling business today. That's why I love it. It's like ice cream almost. <laughs> so let's go for it. Turn on my light here. All right. Oh yeah, still lather. It's just as awesome as it did when I first got it. <laughs> That's my mom in the background dying over there. <laughs> oh, we all have choking issues over here because we all have choking issues. That's why. <laughs> Okay, so let me clean up my hands here. Lancaster Razorworks, thank you for this. Love this one. Uh, all right, so two new, three new products, probably four, and then my first shave soap. As you guys can see, it lathers like a beast. Oh yeah. I also waited to do this shave because I wanted to have a full face of hair, you know? Fuzz. I wanted to put the blade, the razor, and the soap to the, desk, to the test because it's been such a long time. But I still have it. Who knows, this could be a one pass shave. We don't know yet. The feedback is great. The soap feels really smooth. It doesn't feel like it's dry, dried out. Before it used to dry up on my face really fast, but I guess because I wasn't using a lot of water. And if I didn't already mention, this is called The Name Taker from PAA. I've always wanted it too, I just never bought it until now. I love a fat short handle, it's, it's really cool. Fits perfect in the hands, as you guys see. Upon first impressions, I think it, it did a great job for a first pass. Hmm.
But I think I'm definitely going to go for a second pass due to the fact that I haven't used this soap in a long, long, long time. So <laughs> let me just wash my face real quick and then we'll get to the next pass. Okay, so let's add that soap and let's get it going. Worth it. I love it. All right, now let's go against the green and see how this blade and razor combo do with this, with this soap. You guys have any questions about that noise? That's Lucy in the background using her uh, cricket. She's doing her crafts right now. Oh, she just turned and looked at me. Because <laughs> she has her headphones on too. Well, I've got no complaints with this strange lit. And I've had heavy beard, gro beard growth, so I really put the blade and razor to the test and the soap. And a shout out to my brother Brian. Thank you for having us and thank you for the cigar, homie. This is awesome. We had a blast at his house this last week and it was awesome. Uh, my, my brother here, he just bought himself a new house too. So it was definitely a housewarming party. <laughs> and it was his birthday too. So that was, that was awesome, that was fun. So Brian, if you see this video, Thanks, dude. <laughs> so I think... You know what? Let's get a pickup one. I'll be right back. So I did the pickups off camera just to show you one thing. You guys can see. Every time I try to go in this direction, like this, I usually get butchered. And I believe that's what happened. <laughs> but it's cool. It always happens. I'm still trying to get used to doing that. So let me wash my face real quick. I can't tell you guys right out the gate. It's a thirsty soap. So let that be known. But do I recommend it? Very much so. If you guys can see here, I've literally been adding water as I, as I go just to get more of a lather out of it. And I'll just show you here. Just don't, but you know, you got you got to get your your mixture correct. But once you do, it's the lather that keeps on giving. And I kid you not. Look at this. Let's see if I can get a little or a lot more out of this. Oh yeah. See that? The lather that keeps on giving. So do I recommend this this soap? Yes. It is my first soap that I tried and it was recommended to me by the actual owner. The owner was the one who designed this soap and I loved it from the very beginning that I opened it. The cologne smell, just the, the sheer like feeling that it gives your skin. Because I like, I like an alcohol based soap and aftershave if possible. And we're going to be using this right now to top it all off. I don't know if this has a burn or not, but we're about to find out. But yes, as far as uh, my first soap goes, it's that one right there, Parma Inspiration. Oh, yes. Oh, God, this has got to burn. But I like it. I also love that color, too. It smells different on your face. Like every time I use it, when I went from the bottle to the skin, it smells a lot more intense on your skin. Oh, oh she's gonna love this. I've used this before. But. Okay, so that concludes the shave for tonight. I mean that I'm always busy all day working. Um, thanks again, Evil Niffy, for tagging us on your uh, on your video and uh, if there's any questions on where to find this soap I believe all you got to do is go to razorbladesandmore.com or visit the, the West Covina Shave Shop on Google and there'll be a little website link on there to take you to it I don't know if he still sells this but if he does I'm definitely probably gonna pick up another one of these because this is awesome so, but as far as today's products go I use this the West Coast Shaving I call it a cosmic brush. I don't think that's what it's called, but I, I don't remember at the moment. No. Oh, that's the, the code for it. It's a B104. If you guys are looking for that exact brush. 
Um, I use the Mirasol for aftershave, which feels nice. Oh God, it feels nice. The Pre-Shave by Ariane and Evans. And the Name Taker with the Platinum Strange Let. Open comb. It's really cool, man. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your night, rest of your week. I'll be back again as soon as possible. So you guys take it easy. Also, I appreciate all the subscriptions thus far. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, as I said before, this is not a channel to profit from. I do this because I really love it. This is why you don't see that many videos come up due to the fact that I'm usually busy. But when I do bring one up, it's, it's awesome. You know, I love doing it. And I always wait to shave to do a video. So that's another thing. Um, but if you guys have any questions, uh, hit me down in the comments. And then, uh, let's see if I'm missing anything. No, I think that's it. Other than to say that these two are pretty damn close to one another. No joke. This is now one of my favorite blades. I'm going to give one to Lucy when she starts to do her legs again. See if she really likes it. I really did like it. Um, so thanks again for coming and, uh, and watching. <laughs> I'm fucking up here. <laughs> but... Uh, Thank you guys for coming. See? See if I can Y'all take it easy. This has been the L&J Shave Crave. Please like, subscribe, possibly dislike. If you don't like it, let me know. <laughs> and I'll take your requests and tags. Thanks, Evil Miffy. Peace out.